Hi, Gordon here with another edition of the Unscripted series. And this is week three, talking about what our priorities are when we design and build instruments. And this week I'm talking about acoustics, the tone of the instrument, and what we're trying to achieve, achieve there. So when I think of tone, it has a bunch of different parameters in them. So one of them is uh, the highs, low, mid-range tones and the balance of those tones. We are trying to achieve an instrument, deliver an instrument, which has sparkly, bright, driving highs and also has full, round bass notes. So we want a full spectrum of tone. And I think that quality of tone, that breadth of tone, is something that is extremely important to us. Next, what we want is an attack on the notes, an attack that is driving. We want it just to be a very clear and sharp attack on, the, uh, on each note. We want it to have a great sustain. Still ringing. When I hit that note, we want it just to, to ring and ring and ring. We want there to be a consistency of tone across the fretboard, all four strings and all 19 frets. I don't want to hear areas that are overly loud or, of course, muted at all. Some people refer to things as wolf notes that jump out at you and are louder than the others. We don't want that. We want there to be an evenness in tone across the fretboard. So no matter wh what part of it you're playing on, it's going to play very evenly. And lastly, I should say, we are looking for a consistency. And I'm talking about across all instruments. I want you, when you close your eyes, I want you to know you're hearing a Maya Moe. Uh, I want it to be distinctive that way, but I also want it to be predictable. When you've heard one on our website and you've heard our YouTube videos, when, if you order an instrument and you get one from us or your friend gets one, I want you to think, that's what I, that's what I expected. So what, it, what didn't I mention here? What I didn't talk about was volume. Um, volume is, uh, it's important, but it is certainly not one of our top three or four things we're trying to achieve. Um, interestingly, I think a lot of people will measure an instrument by its volume. And if you want the loudest ukulele possible, ask us and we will tell you what combination of woods is going to produce that loud result. But that having been said, I would say that we certainly don't want a ukulele that sounds, that sounds soft or muted, but far more important to us is the quality and the breadth of tone that you're going to achieve. And no matter where you're playing on the fretboard, we want it to have those same characteristics. Great sustain, great attack, great breadth of tone with sparkly highs and very present driven uh, broad bass notes. That's what we're looking for at MyMOA and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.